up guys welcome back to my channel today's video guys is so special because uh, i'm going to livingstone with one of kenya's biggest youtuber also the biggest in africa actually i celebrate him and i love him so much we are taking a trip together to livingstone that's the video for today and i'm um, on katimamurido road zambez road and that's the sunshare towers so that's the video for today if you are new subscribe turn on bell notification give this video a thumbs up so we are almost here this is where i'm coming to meet aya marwa aya marwa let's go guys let's go That's him, guys. That's Marwa. <laughs> I'm here, Marwa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. I also see you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good morning. Good morning, brother. Long time. Yes, long time indeed. Thank you so much. Very well. Good to see you. All right. I'm so humbled. Yes. Uh, Hello, Rossi, guys. how are you? Yes. Okay, please greet me. Hello, guys. It's Maro here. <laughs> Meeting travel entertainment. Yes, uh, thank you so much. very happy that today we're going to be spending a long ride with him. A long ride indeed. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank All you right. so much. Okay. Please. Do you mean? No, it's very okay. Okay. What's up, guys? Today I'm taking over this channel. Just a joke, guys. Yes. Yes. And yes. Uh, <laughs> that's because I'm helping my brother here. He's driving, travel, entertainment. Travel entertainment. Yes. And uh, guys, the first time we met him, he was, he came to the villa to the big party, and he stayed for two days. Imagine for us doing this trip to South Africa, meeting someone who came from one of uh, a very long destination that we are away from home yeah. and all the way he came to the villa i'm like wow yes that was <laughs> that was really like i have to do it yeah so guys first is if you're watching from amaro here please uh, leave a comment here subscribe i also share this video on my community tab thank you and uh, today we are with travel entertainment and we are heading to livingstone <laughs> yes so excited so guys maybe 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 one of you are very very new here is my name is marwa i'm also uh, a travel youtuber and we're coming from kenya and uh, we met our brother here i have my wife behind here what's your mom hello yeah how are you i'm good <laughs> yeah today you're in the passenger seat i'll come later if you want to sleep so i can give you a shoulder yes Wow. Yeah. So we so are riding seven hours. We are riding, we have seven hours drive from okay. Lusaka to Livingstone. I wow. mean, there are times here I've done five hours. Yeah. Yeah, because of different cars. Yeah. So, for example, if I'm hitting a faster car, like yeah. the one you had pointed to. Okay, one that of the one. Cars yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. in the UN Land Cruiser. Yeah. That one I can hit five hours. Wow. Yes. This one I can do six, seven hours. Wow. Because it's a smaller car. That one is big engine. Okay. So I can really hit it hard. Yeah. And then it can go. And also because uh, the time when you start off much early, there's little congestion. Oh. A few speed traps. Yeah. yeah. But now there are a lot of speed traps. So that's why you find that. Uh, we have to go. Yes. Then maybe wow. we have to go easy. Easy. So, yeah. uh, uh, some, someone watching this video for the first time, 
maybe I know it's your channel, but yes, I, I, I would like you to introduce yourself because okay. I'll share it to my yeah. community. Thank yeah. you so much. So yes. my name is Travotainment from yes. Zambia. A travel vlogger from Zambia. I've been to all the 10 provinces of Zambia. Yeah. And Zambia is my starting point. So okay. one of the reasons why um, some people have asked me, yeah. uh, when are you going to start traveling? I said soon I'll start traveling internationally, but I wanted to explore Zambia first. Yeah. Why should I go and start telling stories about Zimbabwe yeah, before but... I can tell about the Victoria Falls, for example, where we are going? Yes. We are going to Livingstone, the yes. home of the Victoria Falls. There. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the reasons, that's why I've started from here. Zambia is also quite detailed, diverse country, a lot of diverse 73 languages yeah i was shocked yesterday to hear that <laughs> 73 languages wow almost every bit you go there and out of the 73 languages you find that um, it's not possible that you can uh, learn all the languages wow. but you may pick three four yeah maybe up to seven for example i speak about seven languages oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, here in zambia but the good thing is that they have also been cut down into like seven Major. La major languages okay. so almost every part of zambia i can suit and i can speak their language wow so that's what makes it a little bit unique and then i'm so excited to meet you guys yeah it has really been a dream come true for me so guys actually his job is if if you you want to import a car to zambia and uh, you want somebody who can transport it from the actually ports Port of Dar es Salaam to any part of uh, Zambia, yeah, including Zimbabwe. We know I normally I can deli I deliver vehicles up to Chirundu border, okay, because wow. Zimbabweans also get it from here. Oh, yes, they also get from Dar es Salaam. So I, I do drop it at their border, then the owner can pick it up when we are almost because we are like two hours oh. from. Um, the from border. Harare, not just the border. The border, yes, it's very near Harare. You can be comfortably fast car will move like that from where we are. Wow. Yeah. I, I, actually, South Africa, they drive on the other hand. No, we South Africa, we all drive the same. Things start changing in Congo, oh. whatever this side, but oh. Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa. Oh, we drive the we same. We all drive oh. on the left. It's British, actually. It yes, British. Uh -huh. we are the same colonizers, so yeah. they taught us uh, really the same things. Yes, they, they initiated that we drive on the left. So, so maybe, I don't know how you'd like this video. Maybe yes, you'll please. do a Q and A or something. Yeah, so I'm so excited, <laughs> Maro. One of the things, okay, before we come to that, I yeah. want, yes, I've got a lot of Q and A, but uh, yeah. one of the things is not really a Q and A, but uh, why I'm excited to come with you, Maro, along yes. to Livingstone is yeah. uh, you and Rocio. I want you to see Livingstone. There's no place we always boast that uh, when you come to Zambia and you yeah. have never been to the Victoria Falls, yeah, you, you have not, not come to Zambia. Zambia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real Zambia is the Victoria Falls. Why? Yeah. It is one of our pride. Yeah. Uh, the largest waterfalls in the entire world. It's actually wow. actually shared between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe yeah. Of course, Zambia has 60% of it. Zimbabwe has 40% of it. Wow. I'm going to explain. I wish that we should do that today. Okay. Because when we reach, put our bags in yeah. our rooms and whatever, then let's go to the falls. Okay, we can do that. Yes, we can do that one because that is the simplest. So in, we have like slightly more than 10 activities in Livingstone. Okay. Which I would love uh, to show you. Then you guys are going to pick, maybe you need two, three, four, five, whatever activities. All right. The real main activities, but I've got a suggestion of maybe three. I would yeah. say which is a must number one with the Victoria Falls. Yeah. There is number two. I want you to see the um there is what we call the Mukuni Big Five. Oh okay. I want you to walk with the, the, the lions. lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the, place yeah, there is yeah, no yeah, way yeah. you to come because we have yeah, a lot yeah. of lions and because yeah. Zambia and we also pride ourselves in wildlife. Wow. Well, yeah, Not I just I know Kenya has even got maybe even more lands than us, but we are almost. Uh... No, one thing I realized with uh, 
Zambia is your lions are closer to humans. Yes. Like I saw uh, there's a guy called Brundian Traveler. Yes, I know him. I brought him here with Cloud Joseph. Oh, Those are your guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hosted them when oh. they came. Even here we drove together. I said, guys, let's go and I want you to have you ever touched the a lion. A li <laughs> I said, a real lion which can eat human. <laughs> that is the one I'm taking you. They are oh. experts who train you within two minutes. You know how to touch a fully grown or a middle-sized lion. lion. Wow. I mean, real wild. Some people say, do they have, have they knocked that nothing? Uh, Rosia, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. So, I would love, so we say Mukuni Big Five, they are leopards, but lion is the ultimate one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine taking there, those guys are so good yeah. and uh, outed you. So, because you, uh, I would love you guys to yeah, we, take we, that one. I that one that. is a, is number what on my number two bucket list for you guys. Okay. It is a must. All right. Do so. We can go today. I can arrange that one for you. And by the way, yeah. it, is, it doesn't cost a very little money. It costs some fortune. Yeah. But if I make the arrangements, yeah. the deal will become better. That's how okay. it happened okay. to Cloud Joseph, Cloud Joseph and. Yeah. Burundi and Traveller. Yeah. I brought them here. Yeah. We did all that. Yeah. Oh, I realized also you can be a, easily a tour guide in, in Zambia. <laughs> you know? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. For example, yeah. Last week before yeah. I went to Dar es Salaam, I came from the northern circuit of Zambia. I want you to see the falls. Yeah. But I'm going to prove to you something which may shock you. Or yeah. Did you know? Yeah. We are going to see the force and you are going to tell me if really what you have heard is true. Yeah. Zambia has yeah. more than 100 waterfalls. Oh my God. What you are going to see is yeah. like just the biggest, but there are other waterfalls which we have. More than 100 of them wow. in Zambia and wow. that is where I came from. Okay. Wow. So I just got a motorbike. Yeah. A slightly bigger motorbike. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've told myself so anytime I'm not carrying cars, yeah, I just hit the road with the motorbike and start showing the waterfalls. For example, there's a series which I started last month and I'm yeah. calling it Chasing the Zambian Waterfalls. Wow, yeah. so in this video, I went to the northern circuit of Zambia yeah. and I was showing there are some waterfalls which you look like a replica of the Victoria Falls. Oh. Lukoju Lumangwe waterfalls, yeah. Tumbachush waterfalls, yeah. there is the Kawelume waterfalls, wow. Kalambo waterfalls. So most of these waterfalls, they are just not popular. As they are not one. popular. This but one is popular because yeah. there are many reasons. Yeah. It's the largest in the world, okay. but it's slightly smaller. You have more. You wow. have a lot. That's what I'm saying. I'm using the word 100. Yeah, wow. So when people come on my platform, that is one of the things uh, they should know that we have in Zambia. We are very proud of that one, that what God just placed, what the people are calling beautiful, a lot of them, I mean a ton of them. Actually, I've realized like God uh, really knows how to balance wealth. <laughs> like for example, Zambia here, it could be landlocked. But imagine, imagine with all the copper it has. Imagine with all the minerals. You see? It has lions. So that we it don't. Has, <laughs> it has even if the water is missing, it gives you Victoria Falls where everybody wants to come from all over the world. Yes. Wow, guys. So apart from the Victoria Falls, so those other waterfalls, more than hundred. So I started targeting every day. I would show one waterfalls every wow. day. One waterfalls. Yeah. So immediately I come from here again. I'm back on a motorbike bike and uh, wow. continue just exploding the Zambia which they have never seen on TV yeah. they have never heard of it that is what I'm exploring I go on a motorbike why because the motorbike will it's pass easy. where yeah, a where car cannot, cannot pass, pass. and it's also it has not been easy it's cheaper for me yeah and also I think also the way you say it accessibility this these are waterfalls maybe they they're in the, the 
big bushes or yes, things or that forests. Is correct. That is correct. So you want something that can easily take you. Can take me there. Accessibility. Yeah. So I go to such places. Fly drones. Oh wow. Yes, fly my drone there to just show wow. the beauty of it. So that's what. He, I do on my platform. All right, guys, please ensure I'll put. Uh, okay, this is a CGTV channel. I forgot. Yes. But I'm saying uh, on my YouTube also, I'll put his link right there so that Thank if you're you. watching, you can also check. Thank you so much. How are your That's roads with... here, actually? Okay, generally, yeah. generally, our roads, uh, there are a few bad roads. They used to be very bad, but okay. generally, yeah. I would say they are just fair. Okay. They are just fair. We have fair roads. That's how I would put it there are fewer although yes you can't have 100 percent very good roads but in yeah generally yes we have good roads which needs attention you know I've, I've seen these places sorry to cut you short like oh, yes, the way yes, they these look villages, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like it's easy to find a uh, like a lion or, or <laughs> I laugh a lot, yes. Or, uh, uh, I know. What's, uh, yes, just elephants. wild animals. Yeah, yeah, yes. because these trees yes. have those... Actually, you are right. In yeah. some places, uh, you find the, you really find the real lions, for sure. It is really true. So here we have a Toe Plaza. Okay. Shimawara Toe Plaza. We have a few of them in Zambia. I think oh, from so. the east, where you entered from. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So I want you to stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, please, because I have a lot to catch up with Marwa. More videos in Livingstone, you can't afford to miss it. Okay. Guys, we're cruising uh, here, and that was Monari Hills. Wow. I like that you're filming also in wide angle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All this secret you might not know I've been observing you for years. Okay, yeah. You are the Sony camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. White I also one. had the. Uh, that, I, I I also bought a Sony because that, of yeah. you. Uh, you may not know that. So good. I saw when I came to your villa, yeah. I saw you with a GoPro. Yeah. I also I I also ended up going to say, okay, let me get a twelve. Yeah, the beauty of GoPros <laughs> is they are all weather yeah. and they are hard cameras. They are hard cameras. Yes. So when I saw that, I was observed. I observed it from you, yeah. and I said, "Well, I'll get let one. me also get the GoPro." And I asked you, so I looked for. You see why we use this yellow, yellow stuff? Yes. Is because if you are swimming, and it gets off your hand, it can float. It can float. Wow. Yeah, yes, I have one that, as well. That is the main reason. Yes, because this one, that, that one, will, yeah, will make it float. A metal one will go, it will, it will disappear. Yes. You will never see it again. Look, is that? What was his name? Okay. It's an elderly man, the driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys sell even, uh, I see, this grass. Oh, that grass for, like, people who are not... Uh, Maybe they need this, like yeah. people who are passing, maybe they have horses cattle or somewhere or horses, they buy that. So you see that truck is going inside. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. order goats, oh. sheep. Yeah, so that is the truck for carrying goats, sheep inside to go and sell in Lusaka or Kasumbalesa to the Congolese. Oh, you say Zambia is also bordering Congo? Yes. And do you need visa for Congo? As we don't need, but we are just afraid. Is you? Yeah. Is one of the scariest neighbors here to go. Yeah, to. yeah. Because you every see. day, even I have seen the other day, there was like a coup, coup attempt. I don't know if you. Yes, seen yes, it. yes. I did. And it's they, not very stable, and I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. It's sad. The people are good, but I don't know how. For example, you are going to Congo. If you are a truck driver, yeah, you must um, always carry some money and so forth. They are good people, but I don't know where things yeah. just went bad when you were in the DRC Congo. You yeah. just enter DRC every, even truck drivers. Yeah. This one is a fact, and I'm not hating on Congolese. Yeah. I have got a lot of Congolese friends. Yeah. On my channel, I have got plenty yeah. people from Congo, but they're in the US who even send me money yeah. for me to continue making videos, and I mean it. But the truth is that drivers 
the most and safest country you ever drive in this region is Congo. Oh. Just like we see some gun culture, yes, there's a few attacks in South Africa, Congo yeah. is worse, if anything. It will start from some gangs, police, soldiers, they'll stop you, demand the money in US dollars. Oh. It's, they are just on the road, it's that bad. So some people drive only up to the border, but some people enter inside, but you must be ready. Somebody will just harass you. Who is not police and demand you for money and you must give them and respect them. That's what is bad about uh, DRC. DRC. Yeah. I plan to visit it, but even me, I always have fear because sometimes when you go wow. with cameras, oh shame. Yeah, you can. You people are right. People you can are think right. you are a spy. Mm -hmm. you are even when you are trying to mind your own business and you yeah, know yeah, yeah. yeah but there is a girl who went uh, indian girl her name is wandering with paint okay she got arrested at the border i think she stayed for four days and they told him never to talk about it otherwise she'll be banned yeah. Yeah. i know it's and nothing strange and i know a lot of people from congo some of them have told me i is not even yes yeah. well yes visiting i have been to the border yeah. You reach just the atmosphere. A lot of goats, cows, uh -huh. a lot of. Uh, this is the region for animals anyway. Wow. Okay, although countrywide we have these animals, but here it's like is the one. huge number one, the whole Zambia. This region, they keep animals than in any other kind of population. That's why the president has got thousands of them. Even before he became president, that's why his net worth is they calculated them with animals. Yeah, that's why the man is said to be the richest man. He's got many, many ranches. In fact, when he's taking a holiday, he comes here. Oh, yeah, in the village. He because you know, he farm. has grown here when you grow in your home. Yes, you always want to go back and just so what he does that from time to time, you when he's visiting his place, you simply come over. Taking a day or two off, yeah. you come at the farm and just be around animals. <laughs>